those who are in the business of MS, and particularly patients, have been disappointed by this negative result. There was a lot of expectation. However, uh, the trial was a trial performed in relapsing remitting MS, and the expectation was that because of the mechanism of action of this class of drugs, uh, we had to observe not only an effect on acute inflammation, which was there, by the way, but also on the top of that, an effect of protection from mechanism of neurodegeneration. The trial was against a drug that is active on inflammation, teriflunomide, so the fact that there was no difference doesn't mean that the BTK were not active on inflammation. It means that they are not superior to uh, teriflunomide from this point of view. Uh, we have many different other um, uh, members of this class of drug, and they have different profile in terms of penetration on the CNS and concentration in the CNS, and also in the way they act. So I think we should be still remain open to the possibility that these drugs may target some of the mechanism of neurodegeneration, not only uh, uh, having an anti-inflammatory activity. And I think that we still need to uh, maintain some open possibility to succeed with this class of drug.